Good evening. We are continuing to follow breaking news this evening. APD has a suspect in custody they say is connected to at least two of the four recent murders of Muslim men in our community. News 13's Annalisa Pardo is live downtown at APD headquarters with the very latest. Annalisa. Yeah, Dean, police arrested 51-year-old Muhammad Syed overnight, and they say it was actually a tip from the public that led officers to him. Now, Syed was tracked down in the Jeddah police were looking for, and police searched his home near Carlisle and Gibson. Multiple firearms were recovered from that home that are continually being tested, but right now we believe that at least one of them inside the home and one of them inside the car that was pulled over are matching to our two crime scenes on Rhode Island and Cornell. Nasayed is facing charges in the murder of Aftab Hussein two weeks ago and the murder of Muhammad Afsal Hussein last week. He was arrested near Santa Rosa overnight. Police say evidence shows Syed knew both victims and could have had some type of conflict with them, but didn't elaborate when asked. Today, the president of the Islamic Center of New Mexico expressed his thanks to all the agencies involved for making the arrest happen. I can't express enough the gratitude that I have from my community, from the bottom of my heart, on behalf of all the family members of uh, the ones we lost and we still mourn, we will not ever forget. Uh, and we're hopeful that we have no further losses. Now, the murder investigations into Naeem Hussein and Muhammad Zahir Ahmadi are still ongoing. Now, we asked if this was a hate crime or if Syed was a serial killer. Chief Harold Medina said those terms are not appropriate right now, but they will let the public know if anything changes during the investigation. Back to you. Annalisa, thank you. CARE, a civil rights group for American Muslims and the president of the Islamic Center of New Mexico, have said investigators told them that Syed is a Sunni Muslim and this could be sectarian violence directed toward Shiites. The New York Times also reports that Syed was angry that his daughter married a Shiite. Mohammed Syed has a criminal history here in Albuquerque that dates back to 2017. He was arrested on three separate occasions for domestic violence. Each time his charges were dismissed. In one of those cases, he's accused of beating up his daughter's boyfriend. In another, police say he beat his wife and son with a metal spoon. According to the criminal complaint, his son said this happened regularly. He was also cited for traffic violations in 2019, but again, those charges were dismissed. He was arrested again in 2020 for resisting arrest. Those charges were also dropped.